Earlier on, we were reporting on okay. uh, meter taxis, or rather taxi services, mini bus taxi drivers yeah. uh, having an altercation with e-hailing services. And we have Heidi Jokos, who is on location, uh, to also give us an update on that story. Good morning again, Heidi. What is uh, the, the latest developments there? Uh, Hi, as uh, I mentioned earlier to you, uh, it uh, was uh, business as usual. It is still business as usual. Um, it seems as though uh, it's operations as normal here at uh, Maponya Mall. Uh, we are, of course, trying to um, confirm with police whether or not there have been any uh, casualties and uh, the severity of the situation yesterday. But we do know um, that uh, about three vehicles were torched uh, yesterday, um, and it seems to be uh, clashes between minibus taxis and uh, uber drivers but i want us to get some perspective from a community member we are joined by nana thank you for your time nana you were here yesterday um this is understood to have happened at around half past six uh, maybe just tell us from your understanding as a community member what exactly happened here yesterday so what was happening is uh, there's people that were requesting for uber rides that were coming out of the entrance there by pick and pay and all of a sudden, when the pickup was supposed to happen, people came in, they took the driver out, hit him, and then they started putting the fire, the car elite, and then um, fire shots were going on. Um, this has been happening for a while, but it was not as this violent. We have been experiencing problems with requesting Uber dry, uh, rides from Maponya Mall because taxi drivers really don't want us to use Ubers. So sometimes Uber drivers would not come in and pick us up inside, but will call us and let us know to come outside here so that we can get those rides for safety purposes. But a while back we were told that they had managed to speak to the mall management and um, it, they can operate inside. We were able to ride from the inside of the mall, but um, since from last night we don't know what's going on. Uh, we're just coming in numbers here today. We're going to just ask mall management to give us a way forward and give us direction as to what uh, response they are going to take in terms of letting us know what is going to happen uh, with the Uber drivers. Are we still going to be able to ride? But we also feel that we've got equal rights to the mall and we believe that we have a choice to use whatever transport systems we want. So we want more management to come to us, let us know what decisions they have decided to take and how better are they going to handle the situation. I want to ask you about the response uh, from uh, the mall management because, uh, you know, when we were here earlier this morning, they told us to actually move and not do the live crossing outside the entrance. Um, and there seems to be possibly uh, just caution around who enters the mall and how, how things are handled. But from your experience, I mean, for something to happen like that at half past six, when I would say is peak time when people are trying to get home or trying to get wherever, um, do you think that the mall has dealt sufficiently with this issue, given that you're saying this is not the first time? I don't think the mall management has dealt with this efficiently because uh, we started writing letters to the mall management in 2021 to ask them to please assist us in terms of managing the situation about this um, issue. Uh, well, the response we got in 2021 was that um, they are looking at the matter and if push comes to, hard, uh, to, to push comes to shove, they will be able to take a harsh decision and deal with the matter. But after that, remember, we were able to use Uber rights. But I don't know what has been happening uh, since then and now for such a thing to happen. Uh, there is a rumor, though, that there are, there's another organization that is not registered that is actually pickpocketing on all these um, consumers coming in. For instance, if you don't have an Uber app on your phone and you need Uber, they just ask you, do you want us to deliver you? Then you hop into the car and they go. So they're not registered either with the taxi association or with the Uber association. So there's just so, many, so much happening. But if management was uh, involved so much in this, such a thing could have been avoided. Okay, I just want to confirm, has this got to do with taxi drivers and Ubers? So it's, it's taxi drivers, Ubers, and there's another supposed organization of drivers that are not registered as well. But uh, the Uber and taxi driver issue has long been happening since 2021. Okay, thank you so much for your time. We do appreciate it. That is, of course, Nano, who is a community member here um, in Soweto. And I think it's going to be important to just clarify exactly what happened yesterday. Hopefully, we will be able to get Lieutenant Colonel uh, Masonda on to just give us uh, clarity on this. Um, and uh, we'll obviously see if numbers come out today um, to figure out whether or not there will be uh, any uh, response from the mall management. Cindy.
Heidi, thank you so much. She's on location outside Maponya Mall as we uh, were reporting that there had been fighting between minibus taxi operators and e-hailing services.